this, this right here, this is what I call the bat wing. And the bat wing is when there's just a whole bunch of space all in your shirt there, all in between your actual armpit and where your shirt thinks that your armpit is. And you can tailor the side seams or even the sleeves and it's still, it still might not go away. I struggled with this so much when I started tailoring and I'm gonna, I'm gonna save you a whole bunch of time. This whole video was gonna be about that problem right there and by the end of it, you will never ever look like a flying squirrel ever again. And don't worry about having to wear an undershirt. I hate undershirts. Just go use like sweat block. I made a whole review on it already. It's, it's probably down there. I'm SD and uh, let's make it happen. But first we need to measure our side seams and we also need to measure our sleeves, but Yo, we actually gotta do it the right way. Cause yes, there's a wrong way. A few of you have watched my other tailoring videos and you get super pumped because you learn how to tailor a dress shirt, but then you're like, yo, what, what, uh, what, what's up with all this, SD? I got, got a whole bunch of bat wing going on. Well, I'm gonna explain why that is, but as a heads up, it involves a little bit of geometry and a slight understanding of human anatomy too. But don't panic, cause I have like, honestly like a 10th grade level as far as my geometry goes, so um, we're, we're not gonna get like too technical or anything. Oh, and if you're new and you've never tailored anything before, you can you can go get caught up in the description. You can learn about needles, you can learn about thread, you can learn how to tailor a hoodie, you can learn how to tailor your pants, etc., etc. I ran out of fingers, um, etc. Now, when we measure and pin this bad boy up, we measure that side seam and we also measure the arm seam. But wait, 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 what? What about all this? Like, what about all this area in here? What, uh, what, what do we do? Well, this is where the geometry stuff comes in. Now, what I used to do is just straight up connect them, but um, don't, don't do that. Plus, what it ends up kind of doing is it just, it creates a line that rubs up against your armpit and uh, no bueno to that, that, it sucks. Okay, now hold up, because this is the part that I'm about to go all Dr. House on you and describe the anatomy side to it. This joint that you are working with right here is your shoulder joint, and your shoulder joint is what? A ball and socket joint. Which means it can rotate 360 degrees, no problem. Well, usually no problem. I, uh, I bet you never realized how buttery smooth my audio was until this moment right now. Now, you want your armholes to be higher on your shirt so that that ball and sock and joint can do exactly what it is you want it to do. You know, like reaching up on shelves to grab down salsa for your chips and salsa and cheese, oh, and sour cream too. Or doing things like bending over and tying your shoes and not just going straight incredible Hulk out of your shirts. Your dress shirt as it is right now, it, um, it came with some low armholes and they look stupid because they are ridiculously low. Oh, and uh, continuing on with this whole Dr. House thing that we have going on right now, your chest, your chest actually plays a very, very large factor as well. Now me, I've got a big chest, kind of like borderline A cups, it's, it's weird. So if I make my armhole too high, what ends up happening is I don't have enough fabric to cover my chest, so it ends up pulling off to the sides and it pulls on that front button right there. I've made this joke before, but I'm gonna make it again. My buttons are all like. <laughs> but on the flip side, if that armhole is too low, then that's how you end up with bat wings. So what I end up doing is I just connect the side seam and my arm seam at a 50 degree angle. It is great because that 50 degree angle is the same angle that my armpit is actually at. So as opposed to where it would normally rub against my armpit, it just lies flat right up on on there. And in fact, it doesn't have to be exactly 50 degrees. I uh, may or may not have had to Google image a protractor because I had no idea what angle it was that I was looking for. So let me know down in the comments if 50 degrees, like it's like, like this. So like that angle, is that 50 degrees? I think so. I don't know, I haven't looked at a protractor in like 20 years. And that's all there is to it, SD out, deuces!